Hey, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. I went back to Japan recently, and I'd like to introduce some of the places I went. Japan is opening for tourists, so I hope you can also check out these great places. I'm sorry that I couldn't post anything for two months since I wasn't feeling well, but I got better for this Japan trip. We landed at 5 a.m. at Haneda Airport, and we were so hungry. So we decided to eat morning ramen before going to our hotel. We took a short 30-minute monorail from the airport to central Tokyo. It was a little bit cloudy, but the sun slowly came out. It was quite hard to find a ramen spot that is open at 7 a.m., but we found one in Akihabara. This is the ramen shop we found. Getting food ticket before entering the ramen shop. It's busy at 7 a.m. You can choose the hardness of noodles, flavor strength, and amount of oil. These toppings are either free or less than one dollar. The soup was tankotsu based soy sauce ramen with chicken oil. And the thick noodles are so good. The chashu was very soft, and I loved all the toppings. I chose less chicken oil, so it wasn't too heavy as a breakfast at all. It's a little bit messy, but you can finish up the ramen like this. For lunch, we went to my favorite soba restaurant in Asakusa. Nice traditional soba place, and I love their cold duck soba noodle dish, which is called Hiyashi Kamo Nanban. We ordered a cold duck soba and five kinds of soba with assorted tempura. The soba chef was picking up something from the water tank. There was shrimp for our tempura. These are the five kinds of soba. Country style, lemon, shiso, poppy seeds, and one more kind of soba. And the beautiful tempura. This is my favorite soba, Yashikamo Namba, cold duck soba. There are a lot of toppings, sprout, snow peas, Grilled eggplant and green onion. Also, tons of grilled thin sliced duck. This is sancho pepper, which has a refreshing scent as well as a spicy tingling sensation on the tongue. Great for duck soup noodles and unagi dishes. The fat from the duck is so delicious and savory. If you go to Asakusa, please try this. Next one is my family's favorite Japanese barbecue restaurant. It's called Namaiki, and we always order their prefix dinner. The prefix course consists of 13 dishes, which includes some appetizers, soup, various raw beef, grilled beef, noodles, and shaved ice. 
They serve different parts of each beef piece, and they grill the meat one by one for us. I think that around 8 different kinds of beef parts are served as grilled, and they told us which sauce or topping will be great with each meat. The meat is very fresh, so they can offer it raw, but if you ask them, they can serve cooked meat for you. The beef fillet was thick, but it was so tender and soft. They grate the silk point only for a few seconds. Then we dip the piece into their special barbecue sauce and had it with a little rice bowl, and it was so good! Although I was very full with all the meat inside, we also had some cold noodles and shaved ice. They were so refreshing and tasty. A few days later, we came to Shimokitazawa Station in the evening. Shimokitazawa is an easy access stop from Shibuya or Shinjuku, but it's a very low key and a very convenient place to live. It has great little restaurants, cafes, vintage shops book and record shops, theaters, and more. We went to this new shopping and dining complex that I just opened last year. There are so many cool and interesting shops and restaurants there, so if you go to Shimokitazawa, it's a must-see. This is a stylish coffee shop from Kyoto, and it was really slick. You can choose from more than 40 kinds of coffee. And they have this coffee chart, so it's easy to find your favorite one. They brew the coffee one by one, and we also could choose how to brew our coffee. You can make a cafe latte and other drinks with your favorite coffee beans. And each coffee drink comes with a coffee bean introduction card in Japanese and English. Great place for coffee lovers! On our last day in Tokyo, we went to our favorite hidden bar. It's a 5 minute walk from Omote Sando Station but it's a little hard to find. What's this? A secret door? Beyond the door, there's a cool bar with a huge garden wall. They have an English menu too. There was
was a little chocolate garnish on a whiskey cocktail. The fresh Kyoho grapes drink was very rich and refreshing. We ordered some salad and a pasta for our lunch, and as everything was very good. There are some interesting artworks displayed on the wall. And there is an explanation sheet for each piece. They open for lunch and there are less people at the time, so if you are on Omote Sando, please check it out. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll film more when I go back to Japan next time. More Japan food vlog videos and Japanese recipe videos are coming. Please subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching. Mata ne!